What's up? My name is Simon and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can create a new Binance account and secure that account with two-factor authentication and also do the identity verification so we can actually fund our account with fiat currency and then use that to buy some cryptocurrency. So I'm gonna show you everything on my computer so you can easily follow along with this video. And with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so the first step is to go ahead and sign up for a new Binance account. So you can just head over to binance.com and then you'll be getting to this page that you see right here. Now, depending on when you watch this video in the future, this might look a bit different for you. Just make sure to actually go to binance.com and then you'll be on the correct page. And once you're here, you can just click on register now in the middle or here in the top where it says register, either one of these buttons will work. And once you click on that button, you'll get to this sign up page right here. Now here you can either sign up with your email address or your mobile phone, that is up to you. And one thing I also wanna mention here is that if you use my personal referral code, you can also get an additional 10% off of your trading fees uh, that you'll have to pay for each trade that you make on this exchange. So all you have to do here to get that 10% discount is to go to the referral ID dropdown menu here where you can click on this arrow and then a new field will open up. And all you have to do here is just type in this specific re referral code. I'm also gonna leave this code down below in the description or you can just also click the link in the description below and that'll automatically take you to this page and put that code in this field right here. And as you can see here, when you type in that code, you'll get an additional 10% off of your trading fees, which can add up to a lot of money, especially if you plan on doing a lot of trading on Binance. So once you've done that, you can type in your email address or your mobile phone number, uh, decide on a password, make sure you actually check this box as well that you have read Binance's terms and then click on create account. Then here for the security verification, just drag this little puzzle piece into this piece right here and then you'll get to the next step where we have to um, confirm our email address that we have just used to sign up for Binance. So go ahead, go into your inbox and then you'll be getting a code from Binance. Then you'll just have to copy into these fields right here and then you'll get to the next step. So this is what the email will look like. So I'm just gonna take that code, copy it to the clipboard, then go back here and just paste it in these fields right here. And then we should automatically get redirected to the next step. Then before we get to our dashboard, Binance is gonna show us this page where they kind of try to help us setting up our account by giving you different guides. But I'm gonna show you everything in this video. So what we're gonna do is just go to the top right here where it says go to your dashboard. And we're just, we're just gonna click here. Then we get to our Binance account. And the first thing that Binance wants us to do here is increase the security level of our account by adding two-factor authentication. Now, what that means is that in the future, when you wanna log into your Binance account, you're not only gonna to have to enter your password to get to your account, but you're also gonna to have to enter a one-time code that you'll be getting on your mobile phone, either via text message or via the Google Authenticator application. Now, I highly recommend to actually use an application like Google Authenticator or like Authy or something, because if you use your text messages, then criminals can do something called SIM swapping, which is where they get access to your text messages. And then when they actually have your password and access to your text messages, they can actually access your Binance account and transfer out all the funds to their account. So basically steal your cryptocurrency, which is uh, not something you wanna have, have happen. So, and that's why the Google Authenticator method is a lot more secure. So that's what we're gonna do here. And um, so we're just gonna click on Google verification here. And by the way, if you don't see that, um, that pop-up that we've seen before here, you can also manually go into that, um, that option by just going to your account here on the top, your account um, icon, then go to security right here. And then we're just gonna click on Google authentication here, just go to on. And then again, we get to this step where we can enable the Google authenticator method as a two-factor authentication. So here we're simply gonna go through each of the steps. As you can see, the first step is to download the Google Authenticator application on your phone if you don't already have an Authenticator application. So you can go to the App Store if you have an iPhone or the Google Play Store if you have an Android phone, download and install the application. And once you've done that, you can click on Next and go to the second step. 
And here is where we have to generate this new one-time password on our Google Authenticator application. So if you've downloaded this app for the first time, it's gonna prompt you to scan a new QR code, which is this one right here. And if you already have this application, you can go to the bottom right corner, uh, go to the plus sign and click on scan a new QR code. And then just hold over the camera of your phone over this QR code on your um, computer screen. And then it will automatically generate a new um, six digit code on your phone that's gonna be generating a new code every 60 seconds or so. So once you see that on your phone, you can go to the next step by just clicking on next. And then on the third step here, they want us to, um, to note down a recovery key for the case that if you ever lose your phone, then you won't be able to access your Binance account because you can't generate this new one-time password to access your account. This is why this code is very important. So what you wanna do is just note this down on a piece of paper somewhere and put it somewhere safe where you're not gonna lose it and where only you have access to this code. Because whenever you lose your phone, um, you will need this, this code to recover your Binance account by um, opening a support ticket and telling them that you have lost your phone so this is very important. Make sure you actually note this key somewhere safe and that you're not gonna lose this key. Then once you've done that, you can click on next and go to the last step here. This is where we have to verify our Google Authenticator application by uh, sending a code to your email. So when you click on send code right here, it's gonna send a code to your email inbox. Then you'll be getting an email with a code. So you're just gonna copy this code and go back here and just paste it in this field. And then you also wanna type in a code from your Google Authenticator application, the code that we have just generated. So I'm just gonna type it in here, um, 241624. And once you've done that, you can click on Submit. And then that should activate the Google Authenticator as a two-factor authentication for your account. As we can see here, it is now activated. Now, one more thing I wanna mention about security is that if you even wanna enhance your security further, you can get something that is called a UB key, which is like a hardware device that you have to put into the USB port of your computer and you can only access your account when you, that, when you have that device plugged into your computer. And I actually have one here, that's what I use to access all my cryptocurrency exchanges. This is what it looks like. It's like a USB, very small device that I have to plug into my computer when I have to, when I wanna access my Binance account. So I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description uh, where you can get that device if you're interested. But for now, Google Authenticator is already pretty secure, so that's where we're gonna leave it at for this new account, and we're gonna move on to the next step. Now, one thing I also recommend you do is to enable the anti-phishing code. What that means is that will just prevent you from getting scammed from just people sending you emails pretending to be Binance. Because what you can do here is generate a code or just type in a code that will be displayed every time you get an official email from Binance. So what we're gonna do is just click on enable anti-phishing code here. And then um, as you can see, this will be what it looks like. So whenever you get an email from Binance, you're gonna see your code displayed right here. And whenever you see that code, then you can be sure that this email is actually from Binance and it's not somebody trying to steal your information. So we're gonna click on create anti-phishing code here. So I'm just gonna type in, this is not a scam. Obviously it doesn't really matter what word you type in here, just you wanna make sure you remember this word so that you can actually see that it's not a scam email. Then you wanna click on submit and now we have to verify it with our Google Authenticator application that we have just set up before. Just gonna type in the code here, H42307. Then it automatically sets this code for me and now I can always change that code in the future if I want to. But uh, that's basically it. So we're gonna go back to security right here. And now we have already set up enable anti-phishing code and we can move on to the next step. All right, so the next step is to do the identity verification. Now we need to do this step if you want to use fiat currency to buy any cryptocurrency. So if you wanna fund our account with euros, British pounds, um, dollars and so on, then we need to do the identity verification. 
If you already have cryptocurrency and you want to just transfer it over to Binance and start trading, you don't actually need to do the identity verification. You can just transfer over the amount to your um, cryptocurrency wallet and then you can start trading. But if you want to use uh, fiat currency, then we have to do the identity verification because when we go to bank deposit right here, then we can see that we can only deposit money when we have our identity set up as you can see here. So we're gonna head over to the top right here, hover over the account icon and then we're gonna click on identification right here. And that will take us to this page. Now there's actually two layers of identification. The first one being the identity verification where we just have to identify ourselves using an ID card. And then if you wanna have even higher limits like over $50,000 per day, then you can also do the advanced verification where you have to verify your residential address by uploading some kind of utility bill. But with, uh, in this video, I'm just gonna stick to the identity verification. I'm gonna just walk you through that because for most of you, the limits that you get here are gonna be more than enough. So we're gonna start by clicking on verify here on the right side. And then what you wanna do is just go through each of the steps that you see here. So just confirm your country, then click on start here on the bottom. Then you wanna type in all your personal information right here. And I've actually already done this and I've taken some screenshots so I can show you each of the steps that you have to go through. So um, the first one after you have to fill in your information is to uh, verify your identity using a ID card. So you can either use your passport, your ID card, or also a driver's license. I personally have used my ID card, so I have just chosen that and clicked on continue. And then you can either upload a photo of your ID card, or you can also take a photo using your webcam. So I have used my webcam, so I've just clicked on take photo. Then my browser wanted to know if it's okay to use my camera, so I clicked allow right here. Then the camera will open up and you can just hold your ID card in the camera like this. And then once everything is sharp and readable, you can click on submit. And then on the next step, again, you have to confirm everything. Then on this step, they want to know if you actually are the person on your ID card. So again, you're gonna have to open your camera and take a photo of yourself. So uh, do that and then confirm everything here. Then on the next step, you have to do an advanced verification of yourself. So you can either do that with your phone using the Binance application. I've actually tried to use this, but it didn't work on my phone. So I have just simply used my webcam again on my computer. So I've just clicked on use PC to do verification that you can see here in yellow. And then you can see your camera open up and they just, they just gonna tell you to, to like nod your head, open your mouth and something like that. I think they just wanna see if you're actually a real person. So it takes like a couple of seconds and then when everything is fine, you're gonna see this screen right here where um, they are gonna tell you that it's gonna take about two hours until you're verified uh, or two hours until like, uh, or delays up to three days. For me, it only, like I was verified pretty much immediately, like after a couple of seconds. So yeah, probably it's gonna take uh, not as long as they say here, but I don't know, maybe for you, it's gonna take a bit longer. So here you can click on close and then we're gonna move on. And then once your account is verified, you're gonna see this little verified icon here on the right side of your identity verification window. So once you see that, then you're basically ready to fund your account with fiat currency and start buying some cryptocurrency. So this was actually a segment from my complete Binance tutorial that is also available here on YouTube. So if you wanna learn more about how to use Binance, I'll leave that tutorial down below in the description. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click that thumbs up button and leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. Also subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos just like this one. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.